check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the house. Happy Monday. Welcome to a special edition of the house where the house always wins. I say a special edition because we are filming a special 15 minute episode today specifically for the KC Sportsbook. We're going to be doing a lot of these, uh, but today is our inaugural episode. Uh, the KC Sportsbook, the safe place for Kansas betters to learn about gambling, get access to the tools they might not otherwise have, make smart gambling moves. We at the house are big fans of the sport and social clubs in general, and especially the KC crew, uh, Kansas City's premier sport and social club, 45,000 45, members and strong, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, so sir. thank you in advance to the KC Sportsbook. Make sure you check the links below at the bottom of the page. Occasionally, I think you're going to see a banner even scrolling across down there, little kccrew.com forward slash sportsbook. Go to kccrew.com forward slash sportsbook. Go to the uh, go there and get special promos on signing up, access to an odds table uh, that showcase all the odds across different books, and uh, see when the crew is going to be hosting their next KC Crew Sportsbook watch party, which I think they're going to be doing quite a few of. Uh, but it's also a special episode because we got some heavy hitters on the show today, guys. Uh, and I'm guys, when I say guys and gals, I'm talking to you out in the viewing audience. With me today, I have Greg the Stash Malloy. Greg, wave to the camera. How you doing? Oh, there How we is. doing? The stash and <laughs> The actual stash is gone, so I had to improvise today. Believe it or not, this guy had a, a really great face caterpillar until about, I'm guessing, three days ago. Is that a... a a close estimate yeah. as to when that disappeared. That it, was, out. it really was. Pour one out for it. Really was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> and match. also with us today, Joe Lose. Joe Lose doesn't lose. I, that's <laughs> going to get confusing to me. Uh, yeah. Joe Lose doesn't. I think we just should just call you Joe Lose. I, depending on how this goes over the next few days, we might actually make that switch. Man, I've Obviously, never heard that one before. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. And my name is Michael <laughs> Myers. I've never heard any jokes about that either. Uh, <laughs> But I want to give a quick shout out to a few other really important people in our lives. The sponsors of the KC edition of the house. First and foremost, Coors Light, the official beer of chill. Oh, Woo! look at this. Now, nah, see, that's product placement right there. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. Uh, also sponsoring the show, we all know and love Beyond Energy. Beyond, we need to get Dr. Andy on the show for a segment. That guy's the embodiment of, of Beyond Energy. Uh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> thank you to Coors Light and Beyond Energy. We also have our favorite mobile device, T-Mobile. Joe is going to sing a little Rebel Yell from Billie, Billie Eilish. More, more, more. That's the new, the new uh, slogan with T-Mobile. Joe, you're up. He said Billy Eilish. Oh, sorry. That's going to be a weird version of that song, man. <laughs> I was like, hold on. You just like got to like, with the rebel yell. More. I really want to hear Billy right? Eilish's, Billie Eilish's version of rebel yell. No. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, up, lastly, Renewal by Anderson, this ad makes a better door than a window. I think we need to work on our transparency with these ads. Uh, all right, but thank you to our sponsors. Now I want to go around and meet everybody. I know I introduced them a second ago from Parts Unknown, also known as Omaha, Nebraska. Big Corn Huskers fan. Uh, and if you can win one, just one money line game on the on the Corn Huskers this year, I think you could probably pay your mortgage. Uh, Greg the Huster, Gr Greg the Husker, the Husker Stash Malloy. Next up from Minnesota. Minnetonka, Minnesota, which might as well be Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, for all I know. Um, big <laughs> Twins fan. So the Casey Minneapolis game, Minnesota game is going to be uh, a big one for the locals tonight. He was once arrested for dressing as a clown at a roller rink. Did you know that, Greg? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I actually did, yeah. Yeah. Really I drunk. That was a day one story right there. <laughs> uh, as you all know, Joe Lose. Joe Lose doesn't lose. Okay. Right. Let's get going with this, guys. Um, I know we have three games we're going to pick today, and we're going to try and go fast. We've been going for four minutes and 50 seconds. I took that out way too long. Uh, 
we're going to do this a few different ways because one of the tenants, and I was this was brought up to me right away by the KC Sportsbook team, is they want to make sure that their members and the people that sign up through them are educated. So we're going to go and we're going to make three different styles of bets today, guys. Um, one of them is going to be the money line. One of them is going to be the spread. And then we're going to make a pick with the over under as well. OK, uh, but first up, let's get to game number one where we've got a regular season matchup between the Kansas City Royals and the Minnesota Twins. How fancy is that, guys? Right there on the I screen. I like it. Hey. Yeah. Uh, we've got Chris Bubik. Bubich? I don't even know how to pronounce his name. He's really, really good. Uh, oh, he's boob. pitching for the Kansas City Royals, and Joe Ryan's going to be pitching for the Minnesota Twins. We're going to make a money line bet on this, guys. And real quick, money line for those of you watching at home. The money line... If I pop this up on the screen, I should be able to show you. So this is what a money line looks like for this game. And basically, here is the here is the easiest way to look at a money line. Money line, you're just picking the winners, okay? You're either going to say the Royals are going to win or the Twins are going to win. That's all you have to know going into making a pick for the money line. There are no points given to either team. However, if you see those numbers on the screen, here's how a money line works. 100 is your baseline. So Kansas City Royals are getting plus 160. That means they're not predicted to win. Okay, they're the underdogs. $100 will win you, in addition to your $100 back, will win you $160. So a $100 bet would pay you back your $100 plus $160. On the flip side, the Twins are the favorites. So they're saying, yeah, you can bet on the Twins without giving up any points, but we're not going to pay you as much. So in order to win $100 on that game, if you pick the Twins, you've got to bet $179 to win $100. That's that minus $179, okay? So $100 gets you $160 if you pick the Royals. $179 gets you $100 if you're picking the Twins, and that's the money line. So we're going to start with you, Joe. Lead us off. Who do you have? Twins, Royals. All right. Well, uh, Kansas City has the world's best barbecue, but they have one of the worst baseball teams in the league. So give me the Twins. Okay. All right. So that was easy. We have the Twins going for Joe. And Greg, what do you got for us, buddy? Yeah, I mean, I haven't heard anyone talk about a Royals win since I got here 10 years ago. Uh, So I'm going to go with the Twins. Okay. So we have two Twins. Uh, I will join you in that pick. We've got Chris Bubich going against Joe Ryan. Chris Bubich has not uh, pitched extremely well. I think his record is two and eleven. That's not terrific. Uh, Joe Ryan is ten and eight, much lower ERA. Uh, and I just think that this is a little too heavy, leaning towards Minnesota. I know it's going to cost me a lot of money to do it, but I'm going to put one seventy nine on the Twins to beat the Royals tomorrow night as well okay so we all agree on that one all right let's take a look at our second game of the night we're going to stick with the money line and we're going to go angels versus guardians in a battle of the two teams most recently changing their names i guess i think that's the last two teams in major league baseball to change their names um so let's take a look here i'm going to share my screen and pull up on that said screen the line for two nights game. Look at that. Look at that. How fancy hey. is that? Get off the screen. Okay. We've got Angels in Cleveland. You can see this is essentially a pick them here. Uh, and we're going money line again. So a hundred dollar bet if you pick the Angels gets you a hundred. If you bet on the Indians, you've got to bet one fifteen to win a hundred. Stash, lead us off, buddy. Uh, I mean, I think it's no no stranger. I'm a not a big baseball guy, you know. Growing up in Nebraska, it's go big red football all day. It's a home of that. The, it's the said. home of the World Series. The College World Series is in Omaha, right? You mean growing up in Nebraska, not a baseball fan? I don't think he knew that, judging by his reaction. <laughs> <He> <laughs> might, <he laughs> might, are you well, sure what you're is from the Nebraska? College World Series? There you go. That's okay. All right. Anyway, I will say I haven't made it through a whole baseball game since I was in kid pitch. So. Uh, I don't know a lot about baseball, but I am lucky. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the Guardians. So if you want to win some money, Guardians are where it's at today. All right. The Cleveland Guardians are getting Greg, the stash, the expert Major League Baseball analysts, 
pick for the day. All right. I think that's a, that's a lock. Joe, what do you have? Guardians. What a stupid, dumb name. Like, what are they guarding? A crappy city by somewhere in Ohio? No. I think so. Just, yeah, they got sued by a roller derby team because of the name change. And the roller derby girls could probably beat them up. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Angels. Okay. I like that. I like that. That's, that's actually really solid reasoning all the way around. I'm not going to lie. I need them to lose. You know, the Twins are behind them now because, you know, the Twins are doing what the Twins do. All right. Now the truth is coming out. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to join this. Angels, Indians. I'm sorry. Ooh, look at that. Angels, <laughs> Guardians. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Reed Detmer, who is the best pitcher the Angels have, even though the Angels are 20 games under 500. Reed Detmer is their ace. In my opinion, Connor Pilkington is pitching for the Guardians. I would not call Connor Pilkington the Guardians ace. So that's why you're seeing a pick them here. That's why it's so close, even though one team has 20 more victories than the other. It's just going to be really hard to pick against the Angels. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just going to be really hard to pick against Reed Detmer. It's really easy to pick against the angels. Uh, if you've watched the house, I think I'm 97 and Oh, when I pick the angels to win. So I'm going to go out here and I'm going to pick the angels. Did all three of us pick the angels? No, I picked the winning team, the guardians. Thank God, somebody <laughs> didn't pick. Cause this is going to be real bad. If our standings were identical <laughs> because we picked the exact same teams all the way. God, these guys are boring. <laughs> Super boring. All right. So, uh, I'm here for we'll go back at the end and make sure that we got these correct. But now let's jump into our final game of the night. It is how, uh, you know, it's Monday night football night tonight. So apropos, we're going to pick Monday night football, uh, Broncos versus Seahawks little grudge match for Russell Wilson here. Um, we are going to pick – I'm going to change this because we are actually going to pick. And if you guys can see on the screen, this is actually the KC Crew Sportsbook that I'm using right now. So they have this on the website, this odds table. Jump into kccrew.com sportsbook, and you'll have this odds table. You can see what every uh, Kansas sportsbook that the KC Crew work with is offering as far as odds and numbers and all that good stuff. So here you go. You look at this. You see right here the over-under and the – well, not the over-under yet. We're going to look at the spread first. <clears throat> so we're going to pick this game against the spread. The spread is six points. So let's do a quick oh, uh, yeah. let's do a quick education tool on the spread. First, it's not like the money line because now you have to factor in the points. It's basically handicapping the game. So if it says, for example, Denver minus six, minus well, six and a half, though, let's go here for minus six. That means if you pick Denver to win this game, they have to win by seven for you to win the bet. If they win by five, four, three, two, or one, you do not win the bet if you pick Denver minus six because they are favored to win by six. The Seahawks are getting six points. So if you bet on the Seahawks here, you get a bonus six points. So you say, I'm betting Seahawks plus six. If they lose by five, you still win the bet because you got six free points. All right. So that's betting against the spread. And that's how we're going to pick this game. Then we're going to pick the over under and I'll do a quick synopsis of that. The over under, which if I click a button up there, this will change. I'm not going to do it right now is 44. The over under is about the easiest thing to bet. Do you think these two, two teams are going to combine for 44 points, more than 44 points? or less than 44 points. If you think they're going to score more than 44, you pick the over. If you think they're going to score less than 44, you pick the under. All right, Joe, we're going to go back to you and have you lead us off. Picking with the spread, do you take Denver minus six, or are you taking Seattle plus six? Denver. Would you like to elaborate? I, I, I don't know. I just think it's easy. Uh, I don't think the Seahawks are – well, they're not, they're not nothing without Russ, but come on. And I hate the Seahawks. <laughs> a lot of personal emotion coming out today, Greg. Yeah, I don't you know, know if you're I, picking up on that. I, I have like a that. large capacity to hate when it comes to sports teams, and I always have a good reason. I respect it. I respect that. All right, so we have one Denver minus six. Stash, what do you got? Got to go Denver. I gotta say, I've been watching a lot of uh, Pat McAfee show. The uh, obsession those guys have with Russell Wilson, it's uh, it's got me. Broncos okay. country, and it's rad. 
<laughs> I hate to do this. Do a goddamn victory tonight. I hate to do this, but I actually have to pick along with you guys as well. I think Russell Wilson goes off on his old teammates. Um, I, I saw where it was Drew Locke, and I think now it's Geno Smith is who is starting for the uh, the Seahawks. Yeah. Um, I, I just, yeah, I, I have to, I have to agree with you guys. I think it's going to be Denver minus six. Um, all right, so let's do over under. Maybe we separate here. Over under, Greg forty four. Over under. Yeah, I'm going to take the under. So you got, you got Russ going into enemy territory, but. He knows these fans. He knows the stadium. He'll handle himself well. He'll get the dub. He just won't score that many points. And Geno Smith coming in, first game, new team, first game of an NFL season. No one knows what they're doing. They're not putting up, you know, they're not putting up more than 20. So, I got the under. Okay. Pretty sound. I like that logic. Joe? Hey, you always take the over. Unless Pete Carroll decides he wants to start Geno Smith instead of Drew Locke. And I don't know. The Seahawks aren't going to do anything tonight. So uh, I hate to take the under. But I'm going to. You know, maybe Denver wins 41 nothing. This is the saddest take thing under. ever. <laughs> I think, I, 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 you know what? Just because I can't pick the same things as you guys are. I can't go through the whole show picking the same thing. I'm going to pick the over. I think it's probably the under. I, I think Seattle's going to put up 10 points. And I think Denver's going to put up 30, and it's going to be 40 points total, and I'm going to lose this bet. But you know what? You don't. You can't win if you tie, right? It's like kissing your sister. So I'm going to pick the over, even with – I think, you know what? I'm going to say that Geno Smith is going to find a way to get 17 tonight. It's going to be 30 to 17. I'm going to eke out the over, and that's going to be the differentiator. That's what's going to make me 4-0 and the leader after one week here on – the house with the KC sports book. That's what I think. Nice. All right. Uh, really quick though. What if, yes. it, what if it's 22 to 22, 44, does everybody lose or do you I, get your money no, back? No, you, you get your money back. Yeah, okay. That's a great question. Actually. It's a terrific question. It's the same thing. If you're picking uh, and then the spread is minus four and the, and it's ends on four, a four point difference. That is a push. Nobody wins. Nobody loses. Everybody gets their money back. It's a great question, actually. That's a terrific question. Um, all right, gentlemen. Great question, Joe. Not sure great. if we told you. Fantastic question. Great question. Amazing. Joe. It's just, it's Man, just, I rule. it really, you really do. Um, all right. I just want to say a quick thank you again to, after I get rid of this screen, Coors Light, Ooh. Beyond Energy, T Mobile, Renewal by Anderson, the KC Sportsbook, the Stash. Joe Lowe's doesn't lose. And a special thanks to Points Bet, Caesars Sportsbook, BetMGM, and DraftKings. These are the groups that the KC Sportsbook works with, believes in, and trusts. You can even look on the KC Sportsbook site to learn the fine print about each one of the offers that they have and to sign up and get the promotional offers. I'm going to put the links below this on the video and the description. So you'll be able to look and see exactly what the sign-up offers are. Click on that, sign up. Have some fun. It's legal in Kansas now. Start betting with us, and we'll see you, gentlemen, in a very few days. Peace, boys. Wait.